So today I want to talk about inspirations and what it means to me as a photographer. But before that, I just want to say hi. My name is Patrick. My friends call me Patty, and welcome to my YouTube channel. We're doing two inspired shoes today. So the first one is gonna be like an Amber Asali type of vibe. So we're gonna do that for the first roll. The second roll is gonna be like Pixie Bella type of vibe. Uh, we'll be on the second roll. And uh, the model that I have with me for today. I'm back. It's Emma. Uh, if you guys have been subscribed to my YouTube channel, she's been featured before. We were at like Scarborough Bluffs, like a morning type of shoot. Okay, so the plan is you're gonna use a water hose. I was thinking like, we don't really, I don't really like the school in the background. So what it is, I took a photo of the sky and then I'm just gonna like probably do like some crazy Photoshop work where like I'll just take this whole background out and just replace it with the sky. We'll see. Just a little bit of an outfit change. So we're going for like this kind of fit. It kind of looks like a Pixie Bella type of vibe for this kind of fit. By the way, like for Amber Asali, like she usually shoots wide angle, which is what I noticed from her Instagram page. She does have fish eye lens. I don't have a fish eye lens. So the best thing I can do right now is shoot on a 24 millimeter. Um, but yeah, we did in this outfit. <laughs> for later on it's actually not bad though today like it's not humid you know what i mean no yeah that's good it's a lot better i did a campaign shoot yesterday and it was hot that's why i was like today's not that bad all right so like i mentioned earlier the plan for this second roll of film is we're gonna do a pixie bella vibe for this kind of shoot so yeah the setup for this one is gonna be with a 70 200 lens so it's gonna be more like close-up tight kind of shot um for the next 24. So it all started in 2017 when I picked up my very first camera which was actually an entry level DSLR, the Nikon D3400 and I bought it because I needed some sort of like decent camera for whenever I go travel with my family. And at that time I was inspired by these you know Instagram accounts like uh, Do You Travel by Jack Morris, I think that's his name and there's this another girl named Gypsy Lust. They were in a relationship at that time and they were like basically a dynamic duo for like travel content and stuff like that. And so I was like really inspired by their photos and they're also the reason why I picked up my first DSLR. Eventually, I ended up opening a second Instagram account which was patties.jpg which was the name that I had before it became Patty's Films. But anyways, and I started photographing my friends because I actually wanted to start getting into portrait photography with the DSLR that I had at the time and it was 2018 at that time and during that era of photography I was inspired by the works of Brandon Wolfo and if you guys haven't heard about him he's really big on like these dark moody like neon blue and pink uh, type of 
portraiture and stuff like that with like crazy bokehs like you know f1.8 or 1.4 apertures and stuff like that and it was a huge style back in 2018 because a lot of people were into that style as well there was a lot of people doing like these dark moody neon portraits back then in 2018 and i'm like guilty for you know also hopping on to that type of style that type of trend back then fast forward to 2019 i started coming across these vintage photographs these photos not only just like old photos photographs but like photos that were taken by film photographers back in 2019 and I was like so amazed by the colors of film it's just like when you look at, at an image of a photo taken on a film camera like you get that sense of nostalgia and stuff like that and yeah I was like stunned and I was amazed by the colors of film especially the Kodak films and so at that time I try to edit my digitals to make it look like they were shot on a film camera like I would make the photos a little bit flat I would slide the temperature slider towards the warmer side and I would like add like grain and stuff like that one of the very first film photographers that I came across Instagram was Sam Damashek and funny enough I actually made a video a couple of months ago about my top five inspirational film photographers and Sam Damashek happens to be the number one on that list but anyways, he was the first photographer that really inspired me and he was the guy that I look up to when I started editing my digitals to make it look like his type of work. But obviously, there's like no way for me. It was really impossible for me to make my digitals really look like film. So eventually, towards the end of 2019, I sort of became dissatisfied or was kind of like sort of losing inspiration or losing the drive to like keep shooting all because I could never you know mimic my digitals as close to looking like film as much as possible so I was like fuck it I bought my very very first film SLR which was the Nikon F90X at that time and from there I decided to go all out with film photography all because Sam Damashik's work inspired me so much that I would consider myself now as like a full-on film photographer. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still shoot on my digitals for like, you know, client work and, and other stuff like that. But mainly for this channel and my Patty's Films Instagram account is all just, all shots, all the photos you are seeing are all taken on a film camera. And once I stepped foot deep into this world of film photography, I started coming across other uh, photographers that also mainly shoot on film like Amber Asali and Pixie Bella. I mean, although Pixie Bella does shoot on digital, there are some photos that she's shown that she on Instagram that were also taken on film, which is what this video is also about. This photo shoot that I have with Emma, as you guys have already seen, was sort of like an Amber Asali and Pixie Bella style or inspired type of photo shoot, as I mentioned earlier on in the video. And so then I changed my name from patties.jpg to Patty's Films because it just makes more sense that way. It's funny because I came into university hoping to become a software engineer, but here I am now because of Instagram, because of all these cool photos that I see on Instagram, that I've seen on Instagram. Here I am now, and I'm sorry, mom and dad. But yeah, that is all I have for you guys today in this short little video, this short little talk about, you know, my inspirations as a photographer. Let me know, comment down below who inspires you, what inspires you. Let me know down below. All right guys, I can't really see because the lens is so big. But uh, yeah, I feel like that's a lot of shots for just 24 shots per roll. Like that's a lot of shots. Yeah. Mm. I think we did good. I think so too. Yeah. You killed it. She killed it. Emma killed it. You always kill it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Emma, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do like today's video, please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe, and uh, see you guys later. Bye. Peace.